Hey, hey, y'all. How are you today? I hope that um, I hope that y'all are all doing great. All right. So the first recipe I want to share with y'all today is this is what my sons are talking about: the big game, the big game, the big game. And I'm sure y'all know what big game I'm talking about. Well, in the Dean Brothers Cookbook, uh, they're sharing with y'all a chili recipe that they formulated, and they, they just love this. So I want to share that with y'all uh, today because this is one of the things that's going to be on their stove when the big game starts. And how about Georgia, two years in a row? Number one, go dogs. <laughs> Is anybody with me? Oh, y'all pulling for somebody else? Teresa! <laughs> so, I, I don't watch professional football, so I, I wouldn't. Well, know. this was college that we were talking oh, about. Sorry. So. I'm sorry I'm reading that. You Listen, work. they are uh, so in tune with everything I'm saying. <laughs> Sometimes they forget to answer me. I'm reading an email from our magazine. I know it. I know it. We just got our copy of our new magazine, and it looks so good. It's a homemade strawberry, uh, fresh strawberry cake that is just so good. All right. So anyway, I've got my pot heating, and I'm going to pour in some olive oil, just a small amount, to um, to cook my peppers. My celery, that was a green bell pepper. Celery, onions, and jalapenos. So, and those are fresh jalapenos. I hope you didn't uh, put your finger in where it shouldn't have been after you seeded those good. I learned my lesson one time. Uh, it's bad. It's bad. It is. Uh, if you should touch your eyes or your nose after you've deseeded those. It's definitely a sinus opener. Look how much salt. Now, that's not very much salt, but that's what they use. My boys are not really big salt eaters. So, and they use, in their recipe, they use ground chicken rather than a, a pork or a beef product. So we're just going to let these cook until they're tender. And that'll probably take five or six minutes. It won't take long. What you doing, Eddie? <laughs> what you doing? Well, you added the stuff, so I thought, oh, I, that's I, thought not... I would catch it. <laughs> well, you know, I was standing up here talking with y'all about other things and uh, so what you have I just picked pot. up the chicken <laughs> and dumped it in. Forgot that you didn't have the camera rolling. Okay, one day it's gonna happen to y'all too. Y'all, y'all gonna get a memory lapse one day. I promise. <laughs> if y'all live long enough, you will have memory lapses. But that's all right. That keeps um, keeps one laughing. <laughs> At yourself, at least. At myself. Yes, honey, at myself. But I will laugh at you, too. If I know. You told me you, you have to laugh, be able to laugh at yourself. Absolutely. To me, that's so important. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I'm going to add chili powder. And that looks like a lot of chili powder, but it takes a lot of chili powder. And now I'm putting ground cumin. And I like what what that cumin does to a pot of chili. All right, so I'm just going to let this continue to saute until it's done. Did you take my, my little spoon rest away? No. Oh, this? Uh-huh. Oh. Okay, everything is actually done that's in our pot, y'all. So now it's time to add two cans of diced tomatoes, and these are a, a petite dice, and I, I really like those a lot, lot better than like a regular dice. Seems like a regular dice, you can't ever get soft. All right, so two cans of diced tomatoes. 
a can of kidney beans. Now this is where you can do whatever you like. Uh, I thought, I'm, in fact, I'm positive that Bobby puts black beans in the chili he makes now. In fact, Bobby makes a vegetarian chili that he likes a lot. And that way, Cloud is more apt to eat it. You know, because she's not a huge meat eater. All right, so here we go. Now we're just going to let this simmer. We're going to bring it back to a bowl and let it simmer. And I know good and well uh, it probably needs some more salt because that was a small amount of salt. And I'm going to go ahead and put some pepper in it. And hope I don't get it too hot because, you know, we got the jalapeno in there. So this weather is perfect for this chili, isn't it? In fact, I'm waiting on family to get here. Ain't Peggy's coming today along with Susan and, and Phil Green, you know, my sissy and her husband. They're coming to bring Aunt Peggy over because she's got a, I've actually made her two doctor's appointments. So this will be perfect for them tonight when they come in and because it's probably going to be kind of late. So they'll be able to eat a nice hot bowl of chili and then collapse. Our chili is looking good, y'all. I'm gonna let it continue to cook and simmer. Actually, gonna let it simmer for a little bit longer because to me, the, the longer it sits and simmers, the better it is. So, it's time for a taste test, boys. Let's see if it's as good as mama's. <laughs> Smells delicious. It tastes delicious. <laughs> I mean, it's really good. Really, really good, y'all. You look surprised. <laughs> I'm not. I know my boys know how to cook. And I think one of them has actually even won a chili cook-off somewhere here in town locally. But this is really, really good. Uh, the, the cumin and the chili powder, you know, I mean, it's gives it that nice little kick. It's not overly hot, even with the jalapenos. Very good. My boys get an A. <laughs> very, very good boys. <laughs> and I'm proud to say, I'm bringing y'all love and best dishes today. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.